Hey everybody, Chad Wesley Smith here. We are looking at the week of April 17th for the training of Marissa Inda as she prepares for IPF Classic Worlds uh, coming up in about nine weeks, I think, in, uh, in Minsk, Belarus. And Kristen Dunsmore, who is uh, maybe 11 weeks out from the Five Bar Showdown in Atlanta. This is week four in Kristen's uh, hypertrophy block and a deload week for Marissa. So here, Kristen's starting off with just a, a ton of fun volume. 115 kilo high bar squat, 253 pounds for seven sets of six. So uh, if you've been following along with this series, she's in a five week long training, cycle, uh, training block. So we're alternating weeks, uh, weeks one, three, and five uh, have heavier squatting in them, weeks two and four heavier deadlifting in them. Here's Marissa going through her deload, 100 kilos. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know how many sets she actually did today, but uh, normal, normally what we're looking for is a 10 to 20% reduction in intensity and a uh, 25 to maybe as high as 40% reduction in volume from a regular training load. So, you know, you can adjust that to your own, own training pretty simply there. Uh, here we move to Tuesday, which is a heavy bench day for Kristen. So, well, she takes some heavy benches and then uh, straight across volume sets after that. So I made an error in uh, putting the wrong weight on the bar. So we didn't get to go as heavy as the plan was. Uh, taking 93 and a half kilos instead of, uh, instead of like 95 or 96 kilos. You can see the first one, super, super easy touch and go. And then a pretty easy pause there as well. So, again, a mistake by me, but uh, we'll survive. And here's Marissa going through some, some deload work, work on the bench. You know, we could be very specific about exactly what you need to do in the deload, but when you have a lifter as experienced as Marissa, someone who understands their own training and their own body, I give her a lot more leeway uh, in terms of exercise selection. She's very, very strong dumbbell bench presser. Uh, I believe those were 70s in each hand. So 70s in each hand for who weighs, you know, 112, 114 pounds. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Here she is doing doing some tricks, some uh, some push-up flow. So, yeah, as, as fun as these are to watch, to really take a, a look at it from a powerlifting perspective, which is incredibly explosive upper body strength, and that has definitely carried over to her being one of the strongest female bench pressers in the world for her weight class. Uh, with a 92 and a half kilo, 204 pound bench in the 52 kilo class. But she was just doing some, some more accessory work. Uh, you know, blood flow is a huge aspect of recovery. So doing this type of light work just to, to pump a lot of blood into the muscles uh, can be very beneficial during during a deload week. And you know, Marissa also had a very long uh, career, or history of bodybuilding and physique style training. So during the deload week, she kind of just does the stuff that's a little bit more fun for her, like the push-up flow or you know, higher volumes of accessory work. We have Kristen on Wednesday going to a new five rep max in the deadlift, 167 and a half kilos, 369 pounds for five. Um, two weeks ago, she also had a, a heavy day of fives in the deadlift. Uh, we kept that one a bit more conservative. Uh, it was 160 kilos, 352 pounds for five. And this week we wanted it uh, right at about a 10 RPE, and that's what we got. So, you know, moving forward with, with progress there, Our previous 5 rep best was 365. But when she had the 365, it wasn't surrounded by quite as much squatting volume, like seven sets of six uh, just a few days prior. So very happy with the direction that our deadlift is moving. Uh, because we are in a hypertrophy, a more general phase of training, prefer the conventional deadlift for the hypertrophy phase. And... So she, would, she just worked up to the top set in sumo and then would do the back down sets, five sets of six at 125 kilos, conventional deadlifting. So she's really only doing uh, two work sets of sumo during uh, this entire first five week training cycle with the, prime, uh, the majority of the work being done conventional, as conventional is going to be the better strength builder, in my opinion, while the sumo deadlifter, for those who are suited to it, would be the better way to express it. Here's Marissa going through her deload deadlift workout. Again, same, same idea as everything else. Um, 10 to 20 percent reduction from normal intensity and uh, 40 or sorry 25 to 40 percent 
reduction in regular volume. Here she's doing some sumo block pulls. Those wouldn't be a regular part of her training, but yeah, it's just a good way to get some work in the muscles in a sort of a low stress environment. See you next week. With the new Juggernaut online coaching programs, we've had a lot of questions about which program is right for you. So here's a quick synopsis of our three different levels of coaching. First, club programming. Club programming is great if you're just looking to add some more structure, some expert design to your strength training for powerlifting or weightlifting, but probably not the best decision if you're looking to compete in one of the other sports or if you have a specific competition date in mind as it's just more general, continuous programming. Team programming is our favorite option. Team programming gives you programming tailored to your size, strength, gender, experience, and goals, control over the timing of the training relative to your competition, and access to our team of coaches for video review. One-on-one -on -one programming is gonna be your best bet if you need very personalized attention based on a unique competition schedule, injury history, or if you're just looking to make sure that everything is built as specifically as possible to you. So we have three different levels of programming, and one of them is definitely gonna be a great fit for you to help you improve in powerlifting or weightlifting.